In this video, I'm gonna talk about my biggest wins as a reseller. And in last video, I talked about my biggest losses as a reseller, so definitely check that out if you wanna learn from some of the mistakes that I made that cost me tens of thousands of dollars. So the first win that I had was back in 2019 when I started reselling. I started reselling with used clothing and shoes that I would sell on eBay and Depop. So this business model was relatively easy and relatively low risk as well. It really just took a couple hundred dollars and a couple skills in combination with each other. Number one, you need to know how to look at the eBay sold listings and figure out what items are selling quickly and for a lot of money. And then you also need to know how to ship out the items and you need to know how to take pictures of the items and list them on the platforms. Relatively straightforward skills. And then you also need to get out there and actually be able to find these items on a regular basis. So thankfully for me, I had a Goodwill outlet world close by to me where you were able to pay by the pound for items. And so oftentimes a t-shirt, for example, would be a dollar. Oftentimes a jacket would be $2. Hiking boots would be like $3 uh, based on the weight. And so this created an opportunity where if I was able to find something profitably, it would oftentimes be a really good thing to purchase and then sell on eBay. I did this mostly while I was part-time in school and I ended up making around $25,000 profit with this business model. I think it's quite possible to scale this to a large degree. There's people like Daily Refinement and other people in the space that do millions with this business model of just listing used clothing and used shoes on eBay and they just do volume with it. Me with my current skill set and being a one man show, I was probably making anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 per month with this business model. Some examples of this would be selling something like Carhartt double knee pants that people either wear for fashion or need for actual work. Maybe something like hiking boots, like Keens, Merrells, maybe something like cowboy boots, like Lucky's or Dan Post boots, or even something like uh, basketball or hockey jerseys. My next biggest win was rebranding AliExpress items and selling them on Depop. So basically Depop worked really well for me because I was able to refresh the items and make them come up on top of search for what people were already searching for on Depop and I was able to get enough traction to actually sell the products. So basically what I would do is I would look at other sellers selling something like a necklace and see which ones were the most popular. Then I would go to a site like AliExpress. I would try to find that necklace on that site. AliExpress is basically a website like Alibaba where you can buy bulk of generally generic but sometimes useful things at a bulk discount from overseas. And basically then I would buy the items, I would have them sent to my house. It would take six to 12 weeks sometimes to get them back, but then I would just take better pictures and I would have much faster shipping for people and people were already searching for the items. So as long as I had a really good picture and description and price for the items, they would sell. Not at an extremely quick rate, but some of them did take off quite well and I did end up making around a thousand dollars a month for over a year. So I ended up making around $20,000 profit with this. The beauty of this was that it was much better efficiency, quote unquote, hourly than the eBay used clothing model. I was definitely spending less time with this and making still a solid amount of money with this. And this was a really big thing for me because if I had just been selling on eBay, the used clothing, maybe I would have lost the motivation to do it because it wasn't that effective. But in combination with this, it really ended up working out quite well for me. So this was like slightly harder to do because it didn't just require looking at the eBay solds and being like, okay, this item definitely sells this. I'm trying to find a replenishable item that people are always searching for and actually marketing the listing in a way that people want to buy it. It also takes a little bit more capital because you don't want to just buy three at a time when the lead time is like two months. You need to actually buy the items beforehand. And a lot of people at this time were just drop shipping them as well. And the way that I was doing it is I was putting some capital on the line so that I could actually give the fast shipping, which is what made it so that people would actually want to buy my product. So although I made less money with this business model, this probably was my next best 
win in my reselling experience. My next big win as a reseller came in late 2020 when I found Air Force Ones. Unlike the other ones, this one was a little bit more skill intensive and a little bit more risk or capital intensive. And this was when I was transitioning from retail arbitrage and books into online arbitrage and eBay to Amazon. There were just a ton of shortages of these shoes in late 2020, especially coming into Q4. And a lot of these Air Forces were retailing at like $100 and oftentimes it would be 180, 210, $250, sometimes even up to $300 for these shoes. And so the ROI was just massive. Uh, the shoes were going out of stock on their source sites. And uh, there were definitely some opportunities where if I was a bigger business, I had more capital and I have more knowledge around this business model that I could have done extremely, extremely well on this. I did end up making around $10,000 on these, which is amazing. And also if I had more capital on hand, like for example, I was only selling 10 to 15k in top line sales a month at the time if i had been putting a ton of money down i could have made an absolute killing on this but i wasn't experienced enough and didn't have the skills to take full advantage of this but still this was a major win for me this was one of my big first wins with online arbitrage in general and was really thankful for the opportunity so the next biggest win was finding out that I could sell used books on Amazon FBA. I had been selling on eBay up through 2020 and near the end of 2020 around the summer, I found out you could sell on Amazon and I decided to do it kind of as a side hustle to my side hustle. I wasn't super serious about it for a couple of months, but then eventually I discovered it was easier to find inventory and it was actually faster to list the items as well. So I kind of focused on that a lot more. Eventually I was making around two to four thousand dollars profit after all of my costs per month doing that business model and it also didn't cost that much money to have all those books because you know books are pretty cheap you can get them for free a dollar two dollars max sometimes and eventually i ended up making around forty thousand dollars in total profit from selling books on amazon this is something that I still do every once in a while. If I go to estate sales and I see that people aren't scanning the books, I'll scan the books because they are really high profit and it's a great way to turn not that much money in the big scheme of things into a, a decent amount of money. You can definitely make more if you do bulk books, but my problem and why I transitioned out of books is because storage limits were an issue for me. Basically, Amazon will sometimes kind of restrict the amount of inventory you can send into them. And so with books, Books, you're not making a ton of money per unit. It's usually like $3, $5, $23. And so if you only have the ability to send in a thousand units, you're probably not going to be able to make a full-time income based on the fact that books oftentimes also sell slower than a lot of other items as well, unless you're sending in only amazing high profit, fast selling books. So I ended up switching business models because of that, but books are still a great way to make money, very consistent and was a huge stepping stone because it's a very consistent way to make money. All right, the next big win that I had as a reseller was when I started selling used thermal printers on Amazon FBA. So this all started when my in-laws basically were selling their business building and they knew that I resold and they just wanted some help getting rid of some of the stuff that had been in their office for a long time and always are up for helping me find profitable products. And so they let me go in there and kind of just donate or sell whatever I wanted to in there. And one of the items that they had, or a couple of of the items that they had were thermal printers and when I listed them on Amazon they sold extremely quickly and for a lot of money and so I was like okay how can I get more of these and so I eventually started looking on eBay and other sites like it for items like these and I eventually started branching out into other similar items as well. And so purposely purchasing items like these online to sell back on Amazon does take a bit more skill because the margins are smaller than especially something like books. Like you're not buying something for $2 and selling it for 50. This is more like buying something for $100 and selling it for 190 or buying something for $60 and selling it for whatever it is. You're often not going to have a 5x on your money when you're purchasing these items. It's going to be a little bit smaller of margins but still Good margins. The caution with this is making sure that you're doing your prep well and making sure that the items work and making sure that you're sending in the item 
times like in a good way that the customer is not gonna receive a broken item when they get the item is key here because if you just send all your items straight to a prep center you're probably not gonna have them tested they're probably not gonna be prepped super well and your return rate is gonna be astronomical like we kind of talked about in the last previous video but all of that being said even with all of those like problems that did come as a result of this business model I still ended up making a ton of money through this I ended up making around eighty thousand dollars selling used thermal printers another thing you're gonna need if you want to do this business model is you do need a good amount of capital kind of like we said before the margins aren't 5xing your money you're gonna be putting a solid amount of money into this you can lower it if you merge fulfilled but if you want to FBA you're definitely gonna need a lot of money at least as far as Amazon goes this also could probably be done with a lot of other different used types of items and I was selling other used items but the main thing that comes to mind when I think about this is that the thermal printers were really really good for me and I ended up making a lot of money from these and so the final big win that I've had as a reseller is now I am selling new items from eBay to Amazon FBA. So this one takes a good bit of capital and takes some skills to do for sure, but once you're able to do them, it's very doable. So this one's still in progress, so I don't like have a before and then after of this is how much I made, but we're still in progress on that. Things are going really well. It's going a lot smoother than the last business model because of the return rate. The return rate has been much less and I've been able to use a prep center as well and so it's been a lot smoother in that way. So in the last business model there were several ASINs that I was very very focused on whereas in this business model there are actually several hundred. In the last business model there was one ASIN that was around $25,000 profit, another one was around $20,000 profit, but in this one there's maybe 30 that are above $500 profit and then there's several hundred that are above $100 profit. But a lot of these are like you can buy it one month and it'll sell through and you'll make $80 profit and then you can just keep restocking it for a certain amount of time and then there are new opportunities to just keep refilling in and there's tons of these opportunities. So the main categories that I'm doing this in is I still do really like my office. I'm also doing home improvement. I'm also doing computers and accessories. And then I'm also in some of the other categories as well, but those are my biggest ones. And so if you're interested in how to do eBay to Amazon better, I don't talk about my consulting that much, but I am opening my consulting. And so I'll have a link for that in the description below. I only work with a few people, but I could definitely help you get to a place where you're doing this more full-time for example I'm working with someone right now and he has 10 VAs and he's scaling super super hard with eBay to Amazon and he's finding a ton to purchase there's another person that I worked with who's doing around 30k a month right now out of his college dorm room and he doesn't have any of the inventory or at least most of the inventory with him because he uses FBA so if you're interested in that there'll be a link in the description also I do have a free discord group if you want to connect with me more that's completely free just come hang out and learn from me and other sellers who are in there discussing problems but hopefully this was helpful for you and hope you guys have a great rest of your day take care